Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we created a Laravel project with Statamic CLI. We're going to learn Statamic and here I have opened the project, which is the welcome page. So welcome to your brand new Statamic site, okay? Uh, next I'm going to open the project with uh, PHP Storm. So here I have the project and I'm going to start with the routes directory. Here on the web.php uh, we register the routes in our Laravel projects, in Laravel projects, but right now we can see here we don't have any route registered. Okay, I'm going to close and let's see now the resources directory. Here we have the views, we have the JS, CSS, but we have a new directory which is blueprints and also the new directory which is users. And let's start with views. Here now we don't have a blade. PHP files, but we have this antlers.html, a new template engine, which is powerful. Also, Blade PHP is very powerful, and I prefer to have Blade. Why we need to learn a new uh, template engine instead of we have worked with Blade with Laravel Blade. Why we need to learn a new one? But this is the choice of uh, Statamic. I don't prefer. I prefer to have Blade. So we have learned and we don't need to learn the new things, but anyway, this is the choice of uh, Statamic. Here we have a uh, layout. We have the HTML documentation and on the title we have here uh, double curly braces and here we have a uh, title tag, which is uh, named in Statamic. Instead of dollar sign title, we have only title as you can see. Also, we have this site colon name where we learn more about them. Also here we have a double colibrisis, a bit tag and source point into site.js and site.css. Then we have body div and here we have double colibrisis and template underscore content tag. Now if we go to home handlers, also here we have an anchor tag, we have an article and then we have this double colibrisis with a content tag. Also on the default we have only the content and just let me come here if I refresh we have this statamic okay what if I change here now the content here if I comment sorry if I comment this and refresh now we have only the statamic anchor tag which is this anchor tag here so of course if I comment also this one and come here now and refresh we don't have nothing here. So what we see in here is in this uh, home handlers.html. And of course, if we cut a and layout and just comment this one and refresh, now we have a blank page. Okay, we are going to take a look to them more deeply later. We to close all of them and now let's see the new directory which is this users and yeah as you can see we have here a yaml file so we need also to learn yaml to work with yaml file which i don't like but anyway this is a choice of uh, satamic laravel can do it with uh, php files and blade the same thing we have with uh, filament for example filament is very powerful and we have a PHP class which do magic things. We chain uh, methods on there and on the front end is we see for example uh, hidden to see the password or hide the password but anyway this is the choice of uh, uh, Satamic. So we have groups, we have also roles here and then we have these blueprints. We have assets, user, YAML file, we have a title which is user and the fields, name which is type of text, display name, we have email which is type of text, input is email and so on. Okay then let's go up on the public we don't see anything here, language no, database no, thing, content we have assets, YAML file, okay, title and disk is assets, 
we have collections, pages.yml file, and also we have globals, we have navigation, taxonomies, and trees. On the config, we have also a new directory here, statamic, and here we have hunters.php configuration file. Okay, we have uh, API, assets, autosave, CP, which is a control panel. So, for example, the road is CP. If I just go back and refresh here, we have jump into the control panel. And as you can see, we have here dot test slash cp slash out slash login. So if we change that uh, route from cp to control panel, for example, dash panel, or we can say just admin. If I save now and just go back and refresh, it's not going to work. But if we change from cp now to control panel, so I'm going to say control dash panel and hit enter. Now we have that login. Okay. So this is uh, where we can uh, make changes on the control panel configuration file. Then we have additions, eloquent driver, forms, and live preview and so on. This is for the config bootstrap. We don't have anything here. We have HTTP, nothing here, models and providers. On the app service provider, we don't see any change. Okay, friends, that's it. What we have in our project, in the uh, Laravel project, what changes we have because we created the project with uh, Statamix CLI. And that's it about this video. In the next video, we're going to create a new page with on the control panel. So I'm going to change that back to CP. And just let me log in as Tony. Add the password and log in. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to work with this uh, admin control panel. If you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much, friends.